The Alaskan Malamutes are perhaps the oldest and definitely the largest of the Arctic sled dogs that descended from an Arctic wolf, making them a part of the domestic dog family. These are large, powerful and loyal working dogs with huge stamina and even bigger heart. The Alaskan Malamutes are similar to other Arctic breeds like Greenland Dog, Canadian Eskimo Dog, the Samoyed and Siberian Husky. Their work has evolved from transporting of goods, hauling freight and pulling a sled to being a great companion to all family members. Female Alaskan Malamutes stand 23 inches at the shoulder and weigh 75 pounds whereas the males stand 25 inches at the shoulder and weigh 85 pounds with a life expectancy of 10 to 14 years. Now without further ado, let's check out the top 10 most interesting facts about the Alaskan Malamutes. Number 1. Their History and Origin The Alaskan Malamutes' history can be traced back to around 3000 BC. Alaskan Malamute gets its name from Malamut, a traveling Inuit tribe that resided in Kotzebue Sound in northern Alaska about 4000 years ago. Primarily, these hard-working companions were used for sled travel haul heavy loads at low speeds over long distances in extremely harsh weather. These brave dogs have also been known to hunt seals and polar bears. During the gold rush of 1896, the demand for these sled dogs was so great that many prospectors mixed them with other breeds making purebred Alaskan almost extinct. During the Second World War, these brave canines were used as working dogs alongside the soldiers in battles to sniff for mines, carry weapons and act as search and rescue dogs. They were featured on a stamp issued by the United States Postal Service in 1984 and in several other countries. The breed was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1935 and now it ranks 58th among the breed registered in AKC. Number 2. Their Appearance Alaskan Malamutes have a broad and deep chest and a strong well-muscled body that challenges its robustness. Their head is almost wolf-like and wedge-shaped with a bulky muzzle and scissor jaws. Their ears are erect, triangular and well furred. Along with distinguishing face markings, their eyes are almond shaped with eye color of brown which can vary in shades. Their tail is well furred and resembles a waving plume allowing Malamute to cover their nose during cold weather. The front legs are straight and firm and the hind legs are very muscular and strong boned. Lastly, well furred paws covered with hard pads prevent Malamutes from frostbites. Number 3. Their Temperament Some of the main characteristics of Alaskan Malamutes include endurance, agility, strength, speed and independence. Malamutes also have the tendency of getting rambunctious and bored which they usually express by chronic howling and by destructively chewing drywalls and ripping the stuffing out of sofas. They are pack-oriented dogs so they crave companionship and will love spending time with their family. Malamutes are also very dominant toward other dogs of the same sex so two males or two females should not be kept together unless you are a very experienced owner. With strong exploratory instincts, Malamutes can easily escape from the house so they must be securely confined behind high fence when playing outdoors. Also Malamutes do not make great watch or guard dogs because they are too friendly. Number 4. Their Exercise and Training Since Malamutes are strong athletic dogs with tremendous endurance, they require daily exercise. Romping in a well-fenced yard or other enclosed space will suffice but they also enjoy hiking or running and swimming with their owners. Malamutes often take part in agility and obedience trials, weight pulling competitions, recreational or competitive sledding or skijoring. But due to their stubborn and independent nature, it is very difficult to get them invested in the training process. Malamutes also require socialization and obedience training to make sure that they don't get pushy or show dominance over other pets, children or adults. Number 5. Their Grooming Alaskan Malamutes are usually clean dogs as they have cat-like tendency to keep their coats clean. Interestingly, their double coat is odorless. However, brushing one to three times weekly helps to keep the coats clean and distribute skin oils. Malamutes shed heavily twice a year, so undercoat can be used to control the heavy shedding. They are often bathed weekly, but a pet Malamute can go six to eight weeks between baths. As with all breeds, Malamutes nails should be trimmed once or twice a month. Not to forget, their teeth should be brushed at least twice a week and ears should be checked weekly. Number 6. They are prone to obesity. Malamutes are notorious for their voracious appetite. They'll keep on eating as long as you keep supplying foods and treats, making the breed more prone to obesity. So it is important to keep a track of their calorie consumption and weight level. Alaskan Malamutes are generally a healthy breed of dogs, however like all large breeds they are prone to certain health conditions. These dogs are also highly prone to developing hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism and cataracts. Hip evaluation, ophthalmologist evaluation, polyneuropathy 
Neuropathy DNA Test are some of the recommended health tests from the National Breed Club. Number 7. Alaskan Malamutes are often mistaken as Siberian Huskies Certain breeds of dog are easy to confuse and this is certainly the case with the Malamutes and Siberian Huskies. Both look like wolves, have double coats, are high on energies, are independent and stubborn breeds needing an experienced owner. However, they differ in personality, physical characteristics and purpose. Malamutes were bred for working and Huskies were bred for running so that makes Malamutes freighters and Huskies racers. They also differ in size as Malamutes stand taller and are more muscular whereas Siberian Huskies are petite and low on foot. Alaskans have eye color that ranges in different shade of brown however. Siberian Huskies have more colors like brown, green, blue and black and sometimes eyes are either party colored or bicolored. Malamutes will often respond well to food based treats and Siberian Huskies will usually respond to toy rewards. The Alaskan Malamutes are renowned for being more aloof whereas Siberian Huskies love everyone. Number 8. Malamute is the state dog of Alaska The Alaskan Malamute became the state dog of Alaska on 18th of April 2010 after a group of school kids at Polaris K-12 school championed the effort through the Alaska legislature as part of a class project. The students performed a multi-year study comparing the different dog breeds and thus the Alaskan Malamute won hands down over other dog breeds because of its major contribution to the Alaska's history. Number 9. Many celebrities have owned Malamutes Alaskan Malamutes have been petted by many celebrities including singers, actors, film directors, authors, and athletes. Some of the celebrities who have owned Malamutes are singer Judy Collins, actor-comedian Dom DeLuise, US President Herbert Hoover, film director George Lucas, comedian and actor Robbie Williams, baseball pitcher Vita Blue, author and dog trainer Ian Dunbar, and actors like Melissa Gilbert, Cheryl Ladd, and Steve McQueen. Number 10. Alaskan Malamutes are movie stars Alaskan Malamutes have been featured in many movies including Snow Buddies, 8 Below, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, The Journey of Natty Gan, Iron Will, Call of the Wild, Nikki Wild Dog of the North, White Fang 2, Myth of the Wild Wolf, and in TV show Dr. Quinn Medicine Women and Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. Alright guys, those were the top 10 most interesting facts about the Alaskan Malamute. What is your favorite trait about these adorable dogs? Let us know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you like the list. For more videos like this, click on our channel and of course don't forget to subscribe.